Good to have Chris Woodward with us, Texas Rangers manager. They're going to spend some money, add some players after some lean years, and he got himself deservedly so, I might add, a contract extension option picked up through 2023. He joins Alana and me, and he says hello. Happy Thanksgiving, Christopher. Good to have you aboard. And listen, you know, not every day a manager has had, you know, the team doesn't win a lot, yet the front office still has great belief in you and they give you a huge extension. So you got to feel pretty good about that. Let's start there. Go ahead. Yeah, you know what, like, obviously the last couple of years um, <clears throat> been a little bit disappointing, obviously, from a win-loss record. But I think what's what's happening behind the scenes, you know, with our staff, with with everything that we've, the ownership, the, the commitment they put in um, with resources. And, and now we've obviously, from a staff standpoint, hired some some really quality staff members. And um, our players played hard. They, they they did everything they could. They grew. They developed. Um, but now, obviously, is, is the point where we got to get to to the back to the point of winning, um, you know, obviously sign some guys bring some guys on board that, that, that fit our culture, fit our, uh, our system, and uh, we look forward to that. Um, but it's a big commitment on their part. Um, I'm humbled by that and um, can't wait to get to work. Woody, John Daniels said that you really helped lay the foundation for what it is that the Rangers want to do. Can you expand on that a little bit? What has that, been, that foundation been for you? What's been the purpose? Um, well, I think obviously culture is number one to me. Um, just laying the, like you said, the groundwork for, for what we want to do and how we do it. Um, you know, every day I, I take a lot of pride in, in, in leading that. And um, I know our staff does. We have a tremendous staff that does as well. Um, we try to, you know, implement that with the players and, and help them lead each other. Um, it's difficult. Obviously, culture is something that's very organic. And, you know, you got to work really hard, especially in the last couple of years. Uh, not winning on the field made it a, a lot more difficult. But, you know, we stuck together. Um, these guys played hard. They came to work every day. Um, like I said, now we're hopefully around that corner. Um, we have a lot of really good things in place. We have a good farm system. Um, the last piece is just, you know, adding some more some more players to, to kind of, you know, get this thing moving in the right direction. But uh, like I said, I'm humbled by that. You know, Chris, no, it's odd. Texas has always had the pitching issues, but they've always been able to hit. Uh, this uh, group has not scored a ton of runs. Now, the pitching is still problematic. But obviously, from a run score perspective, only the Pirates and the Marlins were worse in 2021. Very uncharacteristic of that ball club. So the offense has not been as sharp as we thought. Give me some thoughts on that. Um, I think there's been a lot of growth there, though. I think, uh, you know, our guys had to learn a lot. Um, you know, we had a very inexperienced team. We had a ton of talent, but just, you know, uh, pretty inexperienced. So I think, you know, the, the, the couple of hires that we made with, with Donnie Eckers, our bench coach, and Tim Hires, who I know really well, um, you know, coming from Boston, both guys, you know, chose to come to, to Texas because they believe in what we're all about and, and the culture we're trying to build. So I think they're going to help a ton from an offensive standpoint. Um, with the guys we currently have, um, try to get the most out of them. And, but also, you know, I think bringing in some talent, you know, to help on the offensive front will, will really help us kind of, like I said, push us over the top. Chris, Evan Grant of the Dallas News has reported that the Rangers are allegedly willing to spend up to $200 million on just one free agent. Is that a shortstop in your estimation? I know that there's been conversations reportedly with Simeon, Seeger, and Story. So perhaps a shortstop that's last name begins with an S. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, listen, I, I obviously the, the best players in the market right now, um, a lot of them are shortstops. Um, you know, I thought... Kiner Falefa did a great job for us last year and um, his willingness to kind of, if we sign one of these guys to kind of move um, either to second base or, or to third base um, speaks a lot of, of him. But, uh, you know, we're looking at the best players that, like I said, fit our system. Um, guys that want to work hard, play hard, you know, be leaders in the clubhouse. Um, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of guys out there like that. Um, and we've spoken to a few of them. And, you know, if we can get some of these guys to, to, to buy into what we're doing and, and come on board, it's yeah, obviously going to make us a better team. Chris, how's that ballpark play? I mean, I know we saw it in the postseason a year or so ago. And they've got to really hit it pretty good to get it out of there. Uh, I did not pay attention to it. Roof closed and all that. Roof open. How is this ballpark uh, going to help the pitchers or help the offense? Let me get a little rundown there. Um, I think, it, obviously, it's a big ballpark. There's a lot of space out there. But I, I think if you have the right mix of hitters, I think it actually helps us a ton. Um, if you can limit your strikeouts and, and put the ball in player and hit the ball over the field, you know, if you hit it, there it goes. So th that's not really a factor. Maybe to the big part of the field, you know, it's 410 in the gaps, um, you know, left center, right center. But uh, 
to left and right though, if you hit it good, it's, it's going to go, but you know, there's a ton of space out there. And like I said, if you, if you just have the right, you know, guys um, in the offensive lineup that can kind of, you know, be relentless in the batter's box, you're going to, you're going to get hits. You're going to score runs. So I think it helps us on the pitching side, a lot of deep fly balls, you know, guys, you put the ball in play, you attack the strike zone, you limit your walks, you're going to get people out. We had, you know, one of the best defensive ball clubs in, in the big leagues last year, especially in the outfield. So, you know, if they hit it in the air and it doesn't go out, our guys are going to run it down and catch it. Um, and that obviously helps our pitchers a ton. Chris, the guy that attacks the strike zone that doesn't walk a lot of guys is Clayton Kershaw. He is officially a free agent. This is not tampering. I know you have a good relationship with him. It is no secret he is from Texas. Have you talked to Kirsch about potentially joining your rotation? Um, I know we've been in contact with him. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, Kirsch and I are obviously really good friends and, and we believe in the same you know, things as far as, you know, how to play the game, how to prepare. Um, I, I've been honored to kind of be around him for the three years I was in L.A. Uh, if, you know, if he wants to come back to Texas, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to welcome him there. Um, it's home for him. I, I know he'd love to take his kids to school and, and go pitch a game that night. Uh, but listen, <laughs> it's up to him. I mean, he's had a tremendous legacy. I, I can't speak enough, you know, just about the man himself um, after watching him for three years and, and being around him. Uh, it'd be a tremendous asset for us, especially with a young rotation. You know, we got a ton of talent on the on the starting staff. You know, but they're all young. Um, his leadership, his guidance, and, and honestly, he wouldn't have to say a word. I would just ask those guys to just you know watch him, <laughs> uh, watch him prepare, and, and watch how he goes about his business, and they're going to naturally get better. Good job there, Chris. Well done by Alana. Those are two good questions there. Kershaw, of course, your shortstop. You have a happy Thanksgiving. Congratulations again. We will keep in touch once we get to spring training. Thanks very much. Awesome. Thanks.